To a story now we've been following since this morning. We still don't know the cause of a Janesville apartment fire that claimed the life of one person and injured another. NBC 15 Shana Najawan was there on North Randall Avenue. And Shana, several residents were out of their apartments for hours following that fire. That's right, a Janesville transit bus sat outside of the complex serving as a shelter for those who were displaced. Candace Rothmeyer and her family sat waiting for crews to investigate the deadly fire, which began just one floor beneath their apartment. And he uh, came out and the apartment was full of smoke. A Friday fire in Janesville took the life of one person. One person did pass away uh, from the fire. Um, I didn't know him. He was a, you know, a friend of my neighbors downstairs. Candace Rothmeyer says the early morning flames began just below her. I just hope Edie's okay, my neighbor downstairs. In her downstairs neighbor's apartment. Her freight was covered with soot, so she did, I didn't recognize her. You know, she looked like, and looking around, I think, and didn't recognize her at all. Rothmeyer says she doesn't remember any fires at the complex. Over the last 20 years, she has called it home. I know she had three cats in the house, and I loved her cats. I bet they didn't make it, none of them had the bed. Taking longtime residents by complete surprise. I bet none of her cats made it out of the apartment because she barely made it out herself. All the residents have been returned to the building uh, with the exception of the fire, fire apartment. And once again, that is under investigation. And we are still working to confirm those details, such as the cause of the fire and what led to that person's death. Live in the studio, Shannon Najawin, NBC 15 News.